senior night in Red Hook as six Red Raiders play their final home game before the Mahals and sectionals begin. Red Hook manhandled Marlboro in their first meeting, beating the Dukes by 27, and jumped out to a pretty good start here. But this isn't the same Marlboro team from back then. Some new sets and more three-point shooting means Marlboro was going to put up a fight. And Red Hook held a slim 14-13 lead after the first quarter. In the second, the Iron Duke started making some heavy long-distance calls. J.P. McLaughlin hit for two of them. But Dennis Hare kept pace and Red Hook held a slim 28-26 lead at halftime. Hare finished with a game-high 15 points. In the third quarter, Marlboro showed how much they improved since the last showdown. Marlboro had a 42-39 lead after three. In the fourth quarter, the Red Raiders were just one for five from the foul line, while Marlboro was a cool five for six. And that helped the Iron Dukes keep its distance and eventually beat Red Hook by six, 56-50 the final. Uh, I think it's big. I definitely think it's big. Um... I guess we're a team to beat. But Marlboro is a good team. And I know a lot of people looked at the first time we played at their, their players will be one by 27. But I've been telling people since, like, they're a lot better than that. That was just one of those nights where everything went our way. A kid like Luke White scored 34, 20, 25 in 12 minutes. We're not 27 points better than them. And they played better than us tonight. We had won eight in a row. And every game that we've won was double digits. And going into tonight's game at home, you know, we were winning by an average of 30 points. But this is a great call, a great wake up for us because this shows that, you know what, we're beatable. As good as we are, you know, if we play like this, we can get knocked off. And um, we're starting to get to that point where, you know, if we get knocked off, instead of coming into practice the next day and making adjustments, we're collecting jerseys and talking about what could have been.